Hi, Aber here. What I'm going to tell you in this video will make your life quite easier because I will uncover few secrets to show you how to fit a hoof boot without dying in the process. I have decided to record this video for you because as you might know, I'm a vet specialized in hoof rehab through the barefoot approach since 2008. And in my daily practice, I have seen and I still meet a lot of owners like you that have big troubles when fitting a hoof boot to their horse, mainly in their first attempts, especially if they are trying to fit a below the current boot or what I call a sport boot. As you might know, one of the pros of the internal boot, those that goes above the current, is that are usually easier to fit than the sport ones. So, if you want to know more about the pros and cons of every type of hoof boots, I will leave you a target with a link to a video that I did about this issue somewhere, somewhere here. So, if you are new to the hoof boots world or you are struggling with fitting a hoof boot to your horse, then this video is for you and will help you a lot. First step, hoof health. Trying to fit a hoof boot on an overgrown, heavily distorted and muddy hoof is a pain and will make you hate the hoof boots. So the first step is quite obvious. Keep your horse's hooves healthy, cleaned and trimmed in a regularly short shadow. Second step, posture. The main secret on fitting a hoof boot without any effort is your posture. In my daily job, I see a lot of mistakes while fitting hoof boots. I see people that have some difficulties when dealing with hooves trying to fit a hoof boot with only one hand, or putting their faces in risky places, or leaving the hoof when the boot is not yet in place, letting the horse step on it and risking their investment. So believe me on this, the most safe and appropriate posture for boot fitting is Picking up the leg from the side while facing the tail, moving yourself forward, bending your legs to rest the cannon bone on your laptop and put your weight on them so you ensure that your hands are totally free. Third step, inclination. Trying to fit a hoof boot from the tip to the heels in a straight line is quite common and make the process more difficult than what really is. My recommendation on that aspect is once you're in position, pick up your hoof boot and fit it in a slight angle, making sure that the tip and one of the heels are in. Fourth step, hands movement. Once you have the boot in an angle with the tip and one of the heels in, you are in the middle of the process. What rests is to rotate the boot while pushing it a bit against the hoof to let it within a bit letting in the opposite heel at the same time that you center the boot, making sure that it's totally parallel to the median plane. Fifth step, leaving the hoof on the ground. Now that you have the boot properly fitted and not before, it's time to leave the hoof so the horse can step on it. The last thing to do is putting on your knees and attaching the closing system. Please do not make this pressure in front or just behind of your horse's leg because you can get kicked at your face by accident if it bends his knees and moves his legs forward or backwards. So, when attaching any closing system, remember to always stay in an angle and or keep your free arm protecting your face. Okay, so put this five step on practice and you will have an easy and safe experience while fitting any hoof boot type to your horse. Please leave me a comment below because that helps to spread the word and tell us if it has helped you, if you were barling while fitting your horse's hoof boots before this video, if you have any other way to do it that you think it's better than the one that I showed here, etc. Ah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and share it to others so they can know about our products and all the possibilities that they offer to you and your horse. As always, stay safe, protect your horse and enjoy your rides.